Hi. This movie is gonna be short and straight to the point. 1 to 40. What is this proportion? I'm sure that many of us were exposed to many different discussions related electric vehicles versus fossil fuel driven vehicles. What's, what are the pluses, what are the minuses, advantages and disadvantages and this sort of things. But there's a one crucial point, of course, apart from the any kind of infrastructure related issues that describes a straight line between those vehicles. And this is exactly the subject of this movie. Let's take one kilogram of the gasoline. Not one liter, but one kilogram. We would need this for the, for the proportion. So one kilogram of the gasoline, how much energy does it contain? Well, when it comes to, to, to the gasoline itself, it contains about 12 kilowatt hours of energy. But this 12 kilowatts hour is not fully available on the vehicle driven by gasoline engine. Because the gasoline engine has a very low efficiency, less than 30%. So basically we have from, from one kilogram of the gasoline we can get about 4.54 kilowatt hours of energy that we have available on board and that we can direct to the wheels of our vehicle. And how does it look like when it comes to lithium batteries? A lithium batteries, let's take also a one kilogram of the lithium battery. So in, uh, in one kilogram of the lithium battery, we can squeeze about 0.11 kilowatt hours of the energy. So we have 4.54 kilowatts hour that we can get from one kilogram of the gasoline. And on the other side, we have 0.11 kilowatts hour that we can get from one kilogram of the lithium battery. And the proportion is 1 to 40. And this is the most crucial subject when it comes to all those discussions. Which vehicle is better? An EV vehicle or a fossil fuel powered vehicle? From this simple calculation, I made this graph. The graph that shows direct proportion. So in the top line, in blue, you have liters of gasoline. A bit lower, you have a weight of the gasoline in black. Under the, under the red line, you have uh, kilograms of the lithium batteries. And on the very bottom, you have the energy. I don't suppose that this graph requires any additional comments from my side. But let's take a quick look. At 10 liters of gasoline, which is about 7 kilograms of the gasoline, equals 280 kilograms of the lithium battery to contain 32 kilowatt hours of the energy. We can go another way around. We can take 32 kilowatt hours of the energy and then we will see that to have this energy, we would need 280 kilograms of the lithium battery or seven kilograms of the gasoline, which is 10 liters. An average vehicle powered by gasoline engine is equipped with the fuel tank that can contain about 50 liters of gasoline. 50 liters of gasoline is about 35 kilograms of the gasoline, which is, which equals 1.4 tons of the lithium batteries to have 159 kilowatt hours of energy to be available on board of our vehicle. So basically when it comes to, to very small cars like, like this one, like this Fiat 500, this Fiat 500 has a fuel tank with capacity of uh, 35 liters. And of course, they say that uh, there is 30 liters available normally. And then when it comes to the last five liters, you will see the warning lights on the dashboard warning you about the fuel reserve. So let's take 30 liters normally available in the fuel tank of the Fiat 500. 30 liters of the gasoline would weigh about 21 kilograms to contain 95 kilowatt hours of the energy on board 
and to have the same amount of the energy. In the lithium battery, we would need a battery that weighs 840 kilograms, which is almost as much as the entire Fiat 500 weights. And at the end, I need to highlight that in those rough calculations, I made some roundings. And whenever I rounded something, it was in favor to the electric vehicles. For instance, to this comparison, I took a gasoline engine and the gasoline engine has a lower efficiency than diesel engine, for example. Moreover, in these calculations, I didn't consider an electric motor efficiency, which is of course not 100%, which is also in favor to the electric vehicles. Because as you remember, I took under consideration the efficiency of the gasoline engine because the gasoline itself contains almost three times more energy than we can get from the gasoline engine. So if I took the, the gasoline itself, the proportion would be like 1 to 100, not 1 to 40. But bottom line, this proportion is the biggest issue when it comes to electric vehicles usability. And this is also why electric vehicles are still far away from the usability that we got used to. Some call it a challenge, but let's face it, even if there was a, a, an incredible progress made in the nearest future, a progress that would double the energy that we can squeeze in the battery, we would still have 1 to 20 proportion, which is still far away from what we can call comparable to the regular fossil fuel driven, fossil fuel powered vehicles. That would be all for today. I don't ask you to like this movie or to subscribe because uh, a popularity is not particularly my aim. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this movie helpful or useful somehow. See you next time.